In this video, let's see the third important type of matrix which is named as square matrix. In the previous videos, we have already seen the previous two types of matrices that is row matrix and column matrix. I request you people to please watch those first and then move on to this video if you haven't watched them. Now, this video focuses on square matrix. Square matrix is another important category which is known as a square matrix Why? that we will see. But first, let's read out the definition aloud. The definition says a matrix in which the number of rows, number of rows equals the number of columns. That means the number of rows and columns are same. They are equal. What happened in the row matrix? Only one row. What happened in the column matrix? Only one column. But here, the number of rows and columns are same. So, if there are four rows, there will be four columns only. If there are two rows, there will be two columns only. Right? And it is called as the square matrix of order n. If still not understood, let's see with the analysis part. Suppose I have a matrix named as capital A and that matrix is denoted as Aij. Now the order had to be what? The order had to be m by n earlier. Remember this? m rows n columns. But here the number of columns and rows are same. So either it is m by m or it is n by n. So anything can be written, only one variable we are going to use. So I have a square matrix of the order n by n. So I say A is a square matrix of the order n by n or I also say that A is a square matrix of the order n. Remember you don't need to write n by n again and again. You can just write n. Right? This is the mathematical analysis part. What about an example? Let's see one example. Suppose I have a matrix C and this matrix is something like this. You see a matrix with 4 elements 0, 1, 3, 5. So these 4 elements are placed in what manner? There are 1, 2, 2 rows. There are how many columns? 1, 2, 2 verticals are columns, 2 horizontals are rows. So it is 2 by 2. That means 2 and 2 are equal, that means rows and columns are equal. So it is what? So C is a square matrix. Why? Because the order is such that the number of rows is equal to number of columns. And what will I write? C is a square matrix of order 2. I don't need to write 2 by 2 again. Right? Let's take another example. Another example would be a matrix A such that it is something like this. There are how many elements? There are 9 elements. There are how many rows? 3 rows, 3 columns. If not understood, R1, R2, R3 are the 3 rows. And C1, C2, C3 are the 3 columns. So when we have 3 rows, and 3 columns that makes what? That makes it a square matrix of the order 3. So even this is a square matrix of the order 3. Now in the square matrix, I want you people to understand one important fact. What about the diagonal? You know the diagonal of a square? This looks like a square only because everything is equal. And in the geometrical figure called as square, the sides are equal. The length is equal to breadth. Similarly, 2 by 2 means it looks like a square. Ideally, it looks like a square. Now, what about a square? A square actually has how many diagonals? If I have a square like this, it has two diagonals. Diagonals are which join the opposite vertices. Right? In the matrices also, there are how many diagonals? Two, but we consider only one as the leading diagonal or the principal diagonal. So, 0 and 5 comprise my diagonal. Here also 1, 6, 11 comprise my diagonal. This diagonal is called as the leading diagonal or the main diagonal or the principal diagonal which we will be seeing in the next video which is called as diagonal matrix but it is related to square matrix only hence I took this up in the topic of square matrices.